Across the nation, another Norfolk Southern train derailed in Ohio this weekend, this time near Springfield. A shelter in place order was lifted and agencies say they found no toxic chemicals spilled from the train. ABC's Jacqueline Lee has more details. Approximately 20 cars of a Norfolk Southern cargo train derailed Saturday afternoon near Springfield, Ohio. This video captured the moment the train began to derail. I looked up and there was all kinds of debris and metal shoot out from under the train cars. And when it did, for some reason, I just started recording. Four of the derailed cars were tankers carrying residual amounts of non-hazardous materials. There were no passengers on the 212 car train. There was no release of any chemical or any hazardous material to the soil, to the air, to the water. Uh, we were, of course, tracking that closely. Earlier this week, a bipartisan group of six senators introducing new rail safety legislation requiring rail companies to notify state emergency response officials if they're transporting hazardous materials, increase inspections, raise fines for breaking rules, and mandate a two-person crew. It shouldn't take a disaster to have good oversight legislation to make sure that we have a safe rail system. The fines for safety have averaged about $10,000 over the last few years to Norfolk Southern and CSX in the other big railroads. That's just pennies on the dollar of cost of doing business. This marks the second derailment of one of Norfolk Southern trains in Ohio in just over a month. On February 3rd, a freight train carrying hazardous materials derailed in East Palestine in northeastern Ohio. Residents there confronting the company at a town hall last week. I'm begging you. By the grace of God, please get our people out of here. Yes. The CEO of Norfolk Southern is set to testify this week before Congress on Thursday. He's likely to face questions about whether the railroad has been investing enough in safety. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, New York.